had given you earlier on. But then right now, I'd like us to have a look at what the ESCC is saying, where the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission has recommended the prosecution of Wasingishu Senator Jackson Mandago for his involvement in the Finland scandal that happened during his tenure at the as the governor. Speaking in Moranga, CEO Twali Mbarak said the commission has also recommended the prosecution of other former senior government officers, including a former CS and a PS. Clement Masombo reports. As Kenya prepares to join other nations across the world in commemorating International Anti-Corruption Day on Saturday, the government has been challenged on its commitment to fight the vice. Speaking at a public lecture in Moranga County, which will host this year's event, former Head of Civil Service Ambassador Francis Mudaura gave a set of recommendations to the government if Kenya is really committed to win the fight against corruption. Once an officer in public entity has been identified with corruption, his or her immediate boss should also be investigated by the anti-corruption agents. Mudaura also recommended a reduction in the duration corruption cases take on the corridors of justice. Yes, depending on the, on the magnitude of the case, you can have small cases, one month, big cases, probably a, a year or two medium a year and the big cases two years at the same time the ethics and anti-corruption commission has recommended the prosecution of wasin gishu senator jackson mandago for his involvement in the infamous finland scandal which saw students denied a chance to study abroad despite making payments the commission through its chief executive officer Twali mbarak says it already has a go-ahead from the office of the head of public prosecution to charge the former governor uh, we have one that deals with about the, the senator in uh, in Wasingishu, where this, this the famous Finland scandal. So for the senator, we have recommended him to be charged, and we are in the process. I think we got to go ahead to charge him. So uh, for governors, as you know, we have 47 uh, county governments. There's a lot of corruption that has gone into the county. So it is. Uh, suddenly expected that when you are doing uh, corruption in investigations, most likely you'll find most of them happening in the county government and therefore the governors as heads of the counties are going to be the ones to respond to those questions. The CEO added that in the commission's quarterly report, they have a number of high profile cases they intend to follow through. Among them is a case involving the sale of Telcom Kenya, which could see a former CS, a PS and senior officials at Telcom charged. In concurrence, as far as Telcom sale is concerned, we have recommended uh, a former CS, a PS, and some senior Telcom officials to be charged. I would not like to go into names. This year's commemoration of the Anti-Corruption Day will be the 20th since it was first marked in 2003. The day is marked to raise awareness about fight against corruption in the world. Clement Masombo, KTN News, Moranga County. DAP uh, Kenya party leader, that is Eugene Wamal.